Coach, when uh, when you're going through the, the course of the tournament, do you kind of get a feel where you're at when you're watching your girls play? And, and did you get a feel that they were getting close to qualifying for the state tournament? Yeah, I knew going in we had a pretty good chance. Um, after the front nine, I was a little bit more questioning. We did not play well. Uh, but we made up uh, 12 strokes uh, from our front nine score to our back nine score. We dropped 12 strokes, I should say. So they turned it on in the back in order to get there, and we just missed winning by three strokes. Um, and those were there. Uh, we, I mean, we easily could have won, but seeing that fight from them on the backside was fantastic to see. All right, what was the key if you put the entire picture together? What was it that sent you guys to the top three? Focus. Um, we just had a determination to get it done, and, and they did it. I um, mean, obviously that helps with everything. Uh, off the tee, if you're focused, you're going to hit a better shot. And hitting into the green, if you're focused, you're going to hit a better shot. But we had a really good week of practice. Um, hit on the range, like I said, we usually don't do. Uh, but just to get in a groove, uh, we did that. We did some more of that yesterday, and we're going to do some more of that today. Uh, and we know the distances that we're going to be hitting from a lot. So we'll work specifically on those distances. Did you, uh, you know, I asked you last week, and the one thing you made reference was that you're not playing against others, you're really playing against yourselves, which is, is very true. Did you kind of focus in on that a little bit to make sure the girls kind of eased up as far as their mentality going in, not to worry about anything else but the game they're playing? Yeah, definitely. We talk about that every day. Uh, that's one of the key things I hit on every single time. Um, we get the, the privilege to play with Zionsville, um, again, who's the number one team in the state. Uh, and they're one of the best teams probably in the Midwest when it comes from a girls' golf standpoint. I mean, they're very talented. Um, they've been number one all year, and we played with them a Hall of Fame Classic, so we actually know them a little bit. Uh, so there'll be a little bit of a familiarity there, which is a good thing. Um, and then we also play with Northwood, which we don't know too much about. They were at the Hall of Fame Classic as well, and obviously they're a good team. Everybody, Everybody's there um, is good and talented. Um, but having at least one of the teams – be somebody we know definitely has helps and they're all very nice girls uh, their coach is awesome he's a super nice guy sat and talked to him for a little bit at the hall of fame classic so it'd be good to go there and not be a complete everything new um there'll be at least one thing that we're familiar with what um when you, you think now this next level because the animal's different this time it gets a little bit uh i guess I don't know if scary is the word for it, but it gets more and more competitive now that you're at this level. What's the message now this week as you get ready to make sure everybody stays calm and stays focused and does what they have to do to get ready for this one? Same thing. Um, and we're trying to keep everything the same. We came out here Monday, even though it was pouring rain, we came out and just to keep everything the same. I mean, what we do every day, we want everything to be the same. We didn't go out on the course and hit. Uh, but we were at the golf course. We sat in the clubhouse and went over the course, uh, used all of our, our friends, Google Earth and <laughs> Google Maps and a little bit of everything to get a little bit of a better perspective for the course. And we had two gentlemen here that uh, have played there recently, and they helped us out as well, uh, which was awesome. You know, just shows the girls even more how much support they have. They have two guys that took an hour and a half, two hours out of their day to sit down and help them. And they weren't even asked. They just were here and, and wanted to do that. Um, so that worked out really well and was a major help. All right, the course itself, what's different about what you played last week and this week and where are the challenges at? It's long. Um, it's a very long course. Last week played about 50, 50 maybe 5,100 yards, probably closer to 5,000 yards. This course is going to play closer to 58, 5,900 yards. Um, but so it's significantly longer. There's a lot of heather, um, tall grass, uh, and there's a ton of water. Um, and at Edgewood, you didn't have much heather, um, if any. Uh, there's a ton of trees at Edgewood. Uh, it's a lot tighter. It's a lot smaller. Here it's a lot more wide open um, in terms of your view. There's not a lot of trees. Uh, most of the trees are the perimeter of the golf course, which is all out of bounds. It's the White River. Um, so it's a gorgeous course. Um, the girls will be excited. We go there tomorrow for a practice round. It'll be the first time any of them have seen the course. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how they react to it. Um, but I, I've said all year, I think we're one of the top teams off the tee box, and I think that's going to be really key. The greens are huge, whereas last week the greens were tiny. Uh, the greens are huge at this place. So hitting the greens not going to be as difficult, but making sure we get two putts um, is going to be very difficult. Uh, we worked on that last week. We were took this big practice screen here at the Elks and 
we putted for probably an hour and a half working on different stuff um, and also hit off the range. But as long as we get off the tee, we'll be all right. Um, play smart. You got It's a placement course still, which is similar to last week. So even though it's longer, you still got to put your tee shot and your second shot into certain places in order to have a chance to get par. You feel about as ready as you can be. I know, you again, as, as we're talking right now, you have a day or so, and then you'll go practice. As you said there, tomorrow you, you feel ready and set to go. Um, for the most part, I mean, we still have little details we got to hammer out, uh, get a little bit more uh, familiarity with the golf course. But I thought yesterday was one of our best practices. Uh, we started off really rough. Um, but by the end of practice, we were laughing but also focused. Um, so I felt – and not that we haven't been a, a team. I mean, this team is really close to each other. Uh, but I've, yesterday, it was it was truly you could see it. Um, the girls were um, cracking jokes at each other about different stuff. And we ended practice with a contest. We had JC and Chris, our two seniors, in a putting contest against the other three. And it came down to Brianna Fisher and and JC Cornett. And at the end, uh, JC just edged her out. And Brianna goes, oh, "You're a senior. You're supposed to beat me." Um, <laughs> Which was, but it's good to see them joke around and and feel loose because if we go there tight, it, it's not going to end well. Um, you can't be nervous, you can't be scared. You just got to go play.